a.m. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! minutes before 11 o'clock it is time to talk to joe reichel about damage maybe it's something major in that case you might need a professional or maybe it's something you can fix and you just need a little advice either way call joe right now the number is 622-9622-622-WOCA the uh, climate control source hotline right now it's damage control we're talking about good morning joe how you doing good morning yes fires floods storm tree damage New construction, that's all the stuff we do. Did you hear about the tree in Bellevue? A tree in Bellevue. Okay, a, a lightning hit a tree in Bellevue, according to neighbors, like um, like Monday? Wait, wait, today's Tuesday. Well, anyway, sometime a few days, maybe okay. last week. Okay. And nothing happened. Then a few days later, it rained and the tree fell down, or at least half of it did. I believe it. And hit two houses, damaged them to the point where they had to change their plans. One of the families was getting ready to move to Arizona. They decided, well, let's not move till we get this fixed. Because they weren't going they were going to they were going to sell their house after they vacated right. it. They were going to leave and and wait for it to be sold. Uh, but anyway, I, I I thought maybe you got the call. I did not. That would be a good call to get though. That's uh that's a a great referral for us or a good job for us as far as uh when trees fall on houses and then, you know, typically um, this time of the year, it happens during a storm of some sort. So there's water inside and uh, a lot right, of right, uh, right. cleanup that needs done. So, But what's an interesting lesson that I didn't know is if lightning hits the tree... You better have it taken down. If it didn't, if it didn't already get knocked down, uh, either have it. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Um, really? You never really know, and that's the thing with with lightning or with weather. Um, and there's there's a lot of weight up there. Those trees are holding a lot of weight. So uh, the wind and and you know whatever wearing against that tree can can cause problems. So. Wow, wow. I would, if I see, the thing is this, what if you weren't home? And that's, you know, and there were several people that were struck by lightning uh, last week, uh, storms out in Colorado. Uh, people, one guy was in his garage and standing in his garage with the garage door open wow. and was struck by lightning. Another lady and her son were at the front uh, window looking out at the storm and the lightning struck and and uh, the wa- the woman said that her son's feet were smoking so, did everybody survive or no yeah everybody was oh, okay good, good. Um, but you know just because you're in tell. the house doesn't mean that you're safe from lightning so wow. you know stay away from any of the openings in the house the windows the the doors and that kind of goes along with the fire that we had last week that we got was a uh, right uh, Hit lightning the mattress. Had struck a house and came in the window and <sighs> caught the mattress on fire. That is crazy. How's so, that house doing now? Um, still in the process. I mean, we've got the claim submitted to the insurance company and the the for the complete cleanup and rebuild of what got damaged. Now, so. In Robin and Ronnie's neighborhood, they uh, th- their internet went out, and so they called CenturyLink, and uh, anyway, long story short, lightning hit something, and it went through the wire and literally burst a hole in the wall of one house. Yep. Just just knocked the, like a one-foot hole, I guess. I don't know how big it was. but Have you ever uh, had that where it's just a, a hole that well, needs to be Well, uh, uh, you know, that fixed? electrical current gets in... Yeah, I mean that's something we fi- we can fix, no problem. But um, electrical current gets in there and can cause all sorts of all sorts of damage. Wow, you just never know. You know, and anything from your electronics to structural damage, like like what you're just talking about. So we rush to get into our houses to get out of the storm, and it could, the storm can come into us. Well, and that's where you know it's important to have. Um, uh, surge protectors on all of your appliances or on, on all of your electrical um, electronics. Right. That's the word. <laughs> yeah, and those, those uh, what do you call those, lightning rods. Lightning rods. Lightning rods. Uh, well, Good morning, we, sir. <laughs> I know we just got started, but we need to take a little break for the uh, the quarter till break. 
as we groom ourselves for syndication. I like it. <laughs> so we'll take a little break and we'll be right back. Remember, if you have a question for Joe, whether it's a do-it-yourself question or maybe you need a professional to come help Good morning. repair some damage, give Joe a call. Uh, we'll take a little break for two and a half minutes. The uh, number to call right now is 622-9622. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For today, intervals of clouds and sunshine with a thunderstorm this afternoon, high 87 to 91. There'll be a shower or thunderstorm in the area early tonight, then partly cloudy and warm later tonight, though 71 to 75. For tomorrow, intervals of clouds and sun along with a couple of showers and heavier thunderstorms, high 84 to 88. And for Thursday, clouds and some sun with a thunderstorm likely in the afternoon, high 86 to 90. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Hi, I'm Angie Lewis, and I'm a huge college football fan. That's why the Angie Lewis State Farm Insurance Agency is proud to sponsor Buddy Martin's SEC Media Days report live from Hoover, Alabama. When it comes to football, Buddy is the expert. When it comes to insuring your future, I'm the expert. Call me, Angie Lewis, at 291-2444 or drop by our new location on Fort King Street in the beautiful Historic District. And good luck to your team. This is Randy Briggs of the Briggs Law Firm. My son Bo and I are fifth and sixth generation Ocala natives and have been helping accident victims for over 39 years. That's why we are proud to be a sponsor of Ocala's Buddy Martin and his SEC Media Day reports live from Hoover, Alabama. For SEC football information, tune in to Buddy. If you or a friend need help with an accident claim, call us at the Briggs Law Firm, 671-4600. Sign up for this year's Marion County Heart Walk and be part of a local movement that's helping others live longer, healthier lives. Join me, Corey Poole, your 2014 Marion County Heart Walk Chairman, and walk with me on Saturday, October the 4th at the Baseline Road Trailhead. It's a free event promoting physical activity and heart-healthy living. To find out how you can help fight the number one killer of all Americans, visit us online at marionheartwalk.org. Oh, all right, 12 minutes before 11 o'clock. Let's rejoin Joe Reichel and Damage Control. If you have a question for Joe, remember the number, 622-9622. Is it true we're in the, the lightning capital of the world? You yes. always hear that. Is that true? Yep. Really? That is true. And so, therefore, it can be damaged directly from lightning or indirectly through a tree, right? Yes. <laughs> or the electrical surge caused by, by, by the above. And, and it can come in all all different types of, I mean... It can happen any time. Just because it's a nice day or clear doesn't mean that... What, what, yeah. what is one mistake that people make when there is damage in their home? Is it the insurance? Is that the mistake they don't call right well, away or they don't think they have A lot of times it? people don't realize um, the extent of the damage or they don't want to make a claim. Mm. Um, you know, that's probably... Or, or even they have... I, I would say this is, this is the number one mistake. Um, if someone has damage and they make a claim, there's going to be a lot of information that's given to them uh, by their uh, insurance company, the adjuster. They're going to be told all kinds of things. And we as humans have a tendency when we hear something, we just say, okay, as if we understand what's being said right, right. when really we don't understand what's being said or we have no clue what they're talking about at all but we still say okay yeah sounds good yeah <laughs> we trust the professional 
And, you know, just a claim I went on last week, I'm talking to the homeowner, and I told them that. I said, you're going to be told a lot of things in the process of this claim um, by me, by your insurance adjuster, by your insurance company. If at any time you don't understand, tell me you don't understand. Don't just agree. And he said, okay. <laughs> and I thought, I thought, okay, maybe he didn't, you know, wasn't understanding what I was saying. So we're, you know, wrapping up the conversation. I asked him again, I said, so do you have any questions for me, you know, of what we want to He says, well, explain to me again what you said when, and I was uh-huh. like, excellent, this is perfect. And I told him, I said, thank you for asking me again, because my job is to make sure that you completely understand right. everything about it so that you're not misinformed or you're, you have no, I, no clue. And I always, I mean, when someone has a claim and we're working for them, we are, that's exactly it. We are working for you. So we're not working for your insurance company. We are working for you as the homeowner. If you have any questions, you need to... Wow. What's that? That's my phone. <laughs> if you have any questions, just you need to call me. Uh, right. My phone, my cell number, you know, my cell phone is on 24 hours a day. So at any time, if you have a question, call me. You have a, a phone call, Joe, so let's take that call, and uh, maybe this is a question that somebody needs to have answered. Good morning. You're on the air with Joe Reichel. Yeah, good morning, Joe. Good morning. See, uh, my wife's an insurance agent, and I, I, I wonder if a lot of people realize that you know, if there's a hurricane out there in the Atlantic and it's kind of like coming this way, when it gets to a certain uh, position out there, these insurance companies shut down. They will not write insurance, so people have to be aware of that. They, you know, if they all of a sudden they're watching the Weather Channel or something, and you know they got these little red things showing it coming close to Florida. Oh, I better call up real quick and uh, get some insurance for uh, for protection. If it's a certain distance away, they shut down. They will not write any insurance on that. I'm pretty sure once there's a named storm isn't it? I mean, as yeah. soon as it's a name, well, it becomes a name storm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, they usually name them pretty far out, you know. And right. Course, you know, uh, hurricanes are very unpredictable, but uh, they get in with a certain distance uh, of, of home here. Uh, you're, you're, you're in hard luck if you, you want to get insurance real quick. And that's the thing. I mean, you know, I've that's a great reminder because a lot of times we tell people, you know, know, you know, know what you're covered for, know what your insurance is covering, what it isn't covering, and, and stay informed with that by meeting with your insurance agent, talking with them, and make sure that all of your assets are covered in case of a disaster. Uh, yeah. Oftentimes people don't, and it's, you know, and then, you know, we, we have a tendency to think that nothing's going to happen, and hopefully nothing does, but in the event that something does, you know, you want to make sure that you're you're insured for it. Exactly. It, it's it's surprising. My wife tells me uh, when you do have something uh, when it's active out there, come around August, September, uh, you got all these people all of a sudden are getting panicking. Uh, there's so many people that she just has to say, uh, "Sorry, you gotta hang in there," and uh, you know, you gotta you gotta do it before the fact. I'm sure. Yeah, wow. Hey, thank you for the call, Hugh. Uh, oh. And, and Joe, you do, I'm sorry, Joe, I didn't mean to cut him off. Uh, you have another phone call. Good morning. You're on the air with Joe Reichel. Yeah, uh, my question is about these, these uh, deputies in Lake County. Yeah, that's, that's a political uh, kind of a question. So damage control is about damage to your home, not to your politics. Just so you know. Just letting you know. So, so let me ask you something about the insurance part of this. When... Um, you're in a car wreck. A lot of times you're always afraid that the other insurance company is going to be battling with you. But when, when your house is damaged, there is no other party. So is that fear? Well, there not can a, be. There can be? There can be. If it's, you know, say, for example, it's your neighbor's tree that falls on your, your property, um, and it can be proved that it's, you know, proved that it's your neighbor's. Oftentimes your homeowner's insurance will go against your neighbor's insurance. So... Oh wow! Yeah, and and if not, if there's no, and, but it is your homeowners, so your your homeowners insurance that that you that you file with. When, when going back to the part where the, the biggest mistake people make is not asking questions. I'm guessing the two big questions are how long is it going to take, and how much is it going to cost. 
Well, are uh, those both hard to answer up front? Up front, they're very hard to answer, and that's where you know it, a lot of it, as far as how long it's going to take, will depend on the insurance carrier that mm. you have. Uh, there are some of them that when the adjuster comes out there, uh, they're writing a check immediately. Allstate is great for that. Uh, getting a check to you as a homeowner to get things started. Um, and, and the other big, client, big companies, insurance companies, are good for that as well um, as far as working with. But some of the other companies, um, they can take, and we had told, to, told it to homeowner the other day, it could take two months before we can do anything to your home. Oh, wow. He didn't like to hear that. Well, nobody likes to hear yeah, that. Yeah. You have another phone call, Joe. Good morning. You're on the air with Joe Reichel. Hey, good morning, Joe. I got a door question for you. Okay. I was just looking at replacing my front door. You know, it doesn't need to be replaced. I was just thinking of upgrading. I can't find a door. Um, <laughs> doors are us, maybe? Uh, it, I mean, yeah, what well, are you... I mean, is, is, is it because of the size or... Because of the size, it measures 79 and a half by 42. And I can understand the 79 and a half was probably 80 and they trimmed the bottom of it, but that's an odd door size and I don't know where to find one. Well, Manning, uh, Mil Manning Building Supply would be able to help you with that. They can have a custom door made uh, in order to uh, fit any opening. So that would be where I would check. And I've got the. Um, one of the salesmen, I can get you his phone number. Uh, if you called me after the show or emailed me, um, either way I'd be able to get you his information. But his name is uh, Dean at Manning, Manning Building Supply. All right, Joey. You always got the answers, man. Appreciate it. No problem. All right, thank All right you. guys. Take care. Have a good day. And, and do you want to give your phone number for anybody? Yes. My phone number is 352 817 six five seven four and my email address is joe at damage dot com that's damage florida all spelled out dot com so do you call the insurance company first and then you or the other way around either way doesn't matter doesn't matter um but you know it's important to get your claim started you know quickly right and, yeah. you know let them know that you've had had a problem uh some people don't know if what you know, a disaster that they had is an insurance claim. And a lot of that really depends on a couple things. The size of the claim as well as, uh, and the size of the claim will dictate the cost to repair it. If someone has a rather high deductible, you know, to fix a, you know, $1,400 claim when you have a $1,000 deductible, mm -hmm it might not be beneficial or would not be beneficial to file a claim to only have $400 of it taken care of for your right, insurance. Right, right. Um, you know, so that kind of is, is de a determining factor. You know, you'd have to come out of the pocket with $1,000. Right. So, um, you know, we've been called out several times to help home homeowners with that situation. And sometimes, you know, we're looking at something and, you know, it's not necessarily a disaster or an, a claim because it's more of a maintenance issue. Um, you know, like, for example, if you haven't changed the shingles in your house for a while and you uh, know, your shingles are really old and they're falling off right. or coming apart and water's coming in, your insurance company is going to look at more of a maintenance issue. Ah, okay, okay. So even though you've got water coming in your house, they're not going to be apt to cover it. We have uh, about a minute left. Um, if if somebody has any questions, um, can they call you at your at your at your number? Or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Call me anytime. Um, I mean, we can answer any sort of question or, or problem that you might have, and that number is three five two eight one seven six five seven four. So, I mean, if you've got a question and not quite sure what to do or how to take care of it, um, feel free to call me. All right, uh, another good show, and it always goes too fast, though, and, and uh, I think there were more questions coming in. Quickest half hour of my day. Joe, thank you. For thank what, you. For what you do. We will take a little break. We'll be right back.
Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. Two lawmakers trying to drum up support for a bill to deal with the immigration crisis. The Humane Act, as it's called, from Democrat Henry Cuellar and Republican Senator John Cornyn, fast-tracks the process to send kids back to Central America. Fox Radio's Jared Halpern. The legislation would set up immigration hearings for unaccompanied minors within seven days of initial screening, authorizing up to 40 new immigration judges to deal with the caseload. President Obama has asked for nearly $4 billion to to deal with the crisis, a request critics argue is short on resources to better secure the border. The head of the Fed says the economic recovery is not yet complete, and for that reason, the Fed intends to keep providing significant support to boost growth and labor markets. And at least 20 people have died in a subway derailment in Moscow. The cause is under investigation. Fox News, we report, you decide. When your battery goes out on you, it's like a sucker punch to the gut. But now at Napa, when you buy a new battery, alternator, or starter, you get a Visa rebate card by mail for up to $25. And a Visa rebate card for up to $25 with a new battery? Well, that's like a sucker punch to the gut, but from a really pretty girl. Conquer the job with Napa Know How. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores, offer expires 731 14. And now, another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. To avoid spending the day on the lake, a man told his family it was infested with sharks. So he could go to hot deals of summer at Golfsmith, where you'll find the lowest prices of any golf store, guaranteed. And it's on dry land. During hot deals of summer, get a set of Nike VRS Covert 2.0 irons and get a Nike VRS Covert 2.0 driver. Absolutely free. Only at Golfsmith. Anything for golf. It's time for Farm and Ranch Headlines on the Southeast Agnet. I'm Tyron Spriven reporting. USDA announced this week that Deputy Secretary Krista Hardin, formerly of Georgia, will travel to Beijing, China, July 7th through the 14th. She'll be negotiating with the Chinese Economic Dialogue, along with the uh, participating in the Strategic and Economic Dialogue. She will have additional meetings with high-level Chinese officials while in Beijing to talk about importing of agricultural products from the U.S. and visit facilities that handle American products, including a soybean crushing facility and a denim factory. U.S. Agriculture Today announced that they will not have a continuous referendum on soybean promotion and research order. They did a pre-survey. They had to have at least 10%.